we have now optimized the method for the analysis of these four compounds. At this stage, we are now ready to proceed with the next step in the analysis, which is to change the detection wavelength to 280 nanometers as specified by your manual. We proceed to real-time analysis where it says detector A, we will change the detector wavelength to 280 nanometers and press download to save the method. At this stage there is no need to wait 10 minutes because the system has already equilibrated with the mobile phase at 80%. This is the chromatogram for the analysis at 280 nanometers. As you can see, this chromatogram only has three peaks, which indicates that one of your compounds does not absorb very well at 280 nanometers compared to the 254 nanometers. In order to identify whether it is peak 1, 2, 3, or 4, we will compare this to the chromatogram at 254. I'll use the software to show you this. So this chromatogram is at 254. These are your four peaks, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And the bottom chromatogram is at 280 nanometers. And as you can see, it is peak number four that does not absorb at 280 nanometers. The other peaks as well have been affected by the change to 280. Your first peak has increased in absorbance compared to the 254. Your second peak has increased a little bit as well. Your third peak has decreased and the fourth one does not absorb at all. The explanation of this will be done in class by your